What's up guys, we have finally been blessed with a new patch for Dota 2. It is, it has been a while guys, it has been a while since we've had some changes in the game and a new hero. We have a new hero in the game, we're going to take a look through it, have a look at the patch notes together and see what the stuff is and just discuss it a little bit. So, we've got the Dead Reckoning patch and this comes with the, is it Muerta, the new hero. So this is a carry range nuker disabler and, it's, and uh, if you want to read the law, you can just pause it and read the law. Um, but we're going to take a look and see exactly how this goes. Also, I will do a separate video to actually take a look at the hero itself uh, in, in like a demo mode. So the first ability is Deadshot. Muerta fires a ghostly bank shot at the enemy unit or tree with a bullet strikes. When the bullet strikes, it, da it damages and briefly slows them ricochets in the targeted direction. The ricochet damages all units that passes through, stopping when it hits a hero. Okay, hits hero. Uh, heroes hit by the ricochet will run in the direction of the shot. Oh, so it's like a, it's like a fear if you hit them, and it ricochets off of a tree or a wall. That is that is a pretty big skill shot. Damn, that that's gonna, this is going to take a lot of skill. Okay, next thing, the calling summons a group of revenants that slowly circle the target location. Enemies within the area are slowed and have reduced attack speed. Revenants deal damage, and uh, can I extend this? Revenants deal damage, and um, where is that? <laughs> Silence enemies as they pass through them. Okay, so you're silenced and if you go through them and you'll damage and anything inside gets slowed That is definitely interesting. That's gonna be so good for team fights, isn't it? Does that mean you pretty much can silence a full team? That seems really strong for a, for a second ability just for a W Seems really really strong. Damn, okay. Next is Gunslinger. Were to attacks have a chance to fire a second shot at another target prioritizing heroes. Okay, so this is a passive, I would assume, uh, and it has a ch damn. That seems pretty good as well. Kind of like um, like Gyro's ult, right? Uh, his his ags, I guess. But uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Gonna give you extra damage in fights. I wonder if effects go off of that, like crits and stuff. I wonder. I wonder. Okay, Pierce the Veil. Where to transforms, becoming immune to physical damage. All her attack damage is dealt as magical damage. Where to gains bonus attack damage and a phased movement. Where to can attack ethereal units, but deals no damage to magic immune targets. Holy crap. So this could be a counter to play people like Necrophos, uh, Pugna, uh, anyone who gets a Ghost Scepter <laughs> or an E-Blade, I suppose, as well. Um, oh yeah, they're using Necrophos there to show the example. Damn, this seems, this person seems really OP. I know when heroes released, they are always OP, right? But crazy. All right, so this is the mini game, and uh, I'm not going to really talk about too much. Uh, but if you want to do the mini game, then there you go. There's a mini game you can do. Uh, if it's worth covering, I'll cover it in a separate video. But yeah, okay. So dead reckoning chest. Uh, is this going to show? It does. So there's, there's a few new sets in here. All look like undead sort of things. Very cute for Pudge. The sniper, soul serpent as well. AM and uh, ooh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, Dawnbreaker. I don't know why I went blank on the name. A few wallpapers if you guys want them. These are really cool. Very cool. Anyway, let's keep going. So we've got the advanced battle stats. Dive into the data of your Dota history. Evaluate and evaluate, and evaluate your game with advanced battle stats directly in your profile. Okay. So Dota Plus members now have access to completely revamped real-time gameplay analytics. Dig deep into your playstyle by sorting your complete Dota history by hero, role, game mode, and more. Is this not the same as what we've always had? Focus on last hitting, your creep stats group, uh, group has you covered, improving your sport kills, the sport stats, and now... All right, okay, so it just gives more than what you would have seen in the past. Okay, good. This is really cool. Definitely really cool. Customizable quick casting, finger control at your fingertips. Quick cast users can now I individually assign with which unit specific abilities and items are triggered using key press or release. Check it out by selecting unit specific hotkeys and enable quick cast for abilities and items in the hotkeys. Okay, so you don't have to have quick cast on and off. You can have uh, like quick cast set up for specific heroes and specific abilities as well. Very cool. That's always nice to see. Friends list improvements. Uh, give your best friend, best dud friends the treatment they deserve. Add favorite feature. <laughs> okay, cool. 
<laughs> right, gameplay updates. Turbo mode has been changed. I am not going to look at turbo mode. I don't play it. So if you guys want to see it, then obviously you'll find it. General updates. Reinforced units now take 10% less damage from player control creeps. Affects all summons like treants, eidolons, etc. As well as uh, dominated creeps, but not creep heroes like spirit bear, no illusions. Okay, range creeps are now level 5. Prevents the enigma and others from converting them early. Yes, that is so good. Enigma um, and Lich, these, these, no, Lich doesn't do it anymore, but Enigma, let's just say Enigma, was an absolute freaking joke it, to lane against. Laning against Enigma in mid, you were just lost. You like, you don't, you don't win that lane. This is good. Glyph Tower bonus attack targets increase from four to five. Okay, so that's, this is going to extend games a little bit because uh, they're going to clear the creep waves nice and quickly. Got item updates now. I'll put patch note. I'll, I'll put um the I'll put like uh, timestamps for the video in here. By the way, if you want to jump to something specific. So item updates. We got abyssal blade attack damage bonus increased from twenty five to thirty. Okay, bloodstone blood patch duration has been decreased from six to five seconds. Um, I'm not sure whether this will be enough. Really, unless they've changed other stuff as well. If they've changed like radiance um in anything that affects this, basically like nerfing heroes and stuff, then sure. But uh, we'll have to see. But Bloodstone is still going to be good. I don't think one second is going to be a huge deal. But yeah, we'll see. Boots of Bearing no longer has charges. Divine Rapier. Total cost decreased from 5,950 to 5,600. Okay, so Heralds get to get more Divines, basically. Um, <laughs> Enchanted Mango. Health regeneration bonus decreased from 0.6 to 0.4. This is probably going to stop people from buying out tons of Mangoes in the early game to just get them instead of, like... Um, Tangos, like people just bought mangoes instead of tangos, right? Uh, so that might change that. Ayaskadi, cold attack, movement speed, slow versus range heroes increase from 40 to 50. Damn. That is that is really good. That is definitely a good buff. Four staff, mana cost increase from 100 to 150. 50 extra mana, that's pretty noticeable. That is pretty noticeable, especially on heroes like Magnus, who don't have a big mana pool anyway. Um, strength heroes that actually like to take advantage of four staff. Intel heroes probably won't notice it too much, but like a Magnus, you'll you'll definitely probably notice this like like quite a bit. Glepnir, uh, the eternal chains damage decreased from 2020 to 180, and the eternal change radius has decreased as well. Okay, so a nerf to Glepnir here, um, less damage, less AOE. So, it's just an overall nerf. I think it'll still be pretty useful, though. Guardian Greaves, the aura regen bonus for low health allies decreased from 1 point, uh, 18.5 to 14.5. That's big. Guardian aura uh, armor bonus for low health allies decreased from 10 to 8. Guardian Greaves may not be picked up every single game now because they nerfed Wraith Pact, right? And then everybody changed from Wraith Pact to Guardian Greaves instead. Uh, they, may, they may not do that anymore. They may, they, they may not be something they rush. We'll have to see what happens with this when uh, all the pros work out the meta and stuff and then we all follow from the, the little shit tier rank down there where I am. This is where I am. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, Hurricane Pipe. Hurricane Thrust mana cost increased from 100 to 150 to match the Force Staff. Maelstrom Chain Lightning damage decreased from 140 to 135. So it's only 5 damage, but this adds up when it hits like a full creep wave, right? It bounces, it hits 5 every single time. All adds up, uh, especially in a team fight as well. If you're zapping between other heroes and you hit all 5 of them, it can definitely be a fair amount of damage. But when it's just like single target, you won't notice a huge amount. Uh, meet your hammer meet your hammer channel time decreased okay uh, i freaking hate this item i really 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 hate this item so much <laughs> like so so much nullifier total cost decrease from uh, okay cool 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 uh damage bonus decrease from okay so it's been nerfed with damage but the, the cost has also come down radiance total cost decreased okay but the damage bonus has also decreased as well. Okay, so this is another nerf to the um, Bloodstone builds as well. So if you went to get, if you're going to get Radiance Bloodstone, for example, this would also be a little bit less damage. And while five might not sound like a big number, when it's five, like burning on everybody, and also like over a long period of time, this is going to make a fairly big difference. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty good. Revenant's Brooch, Phantom uh, Province, now additionally grants plus 60 attack speed for its duration, uh, and uh, Pro Phantom's Province attacks are now scaled, uh, are now affected by Spell Lifesteal. Oh, the attacks are now affected by Spell Lifesteal. That's interesting. That's pretty big. It's pretty big, I think. That would be interesting to see if, someone, if people start picking this up. 
Sacred Relic, cost decreased, damage bonus decreased to match the Radiance. Shadow Blade now removes invisibility if bonus damage is applied during the fade time. Most notable examples are Clinks's Burning Barrage, Ember Spirit's Sleight of Fist, that would add bonus damage on every attack made if the ability was cast during the fade time. That's... Ah, true, actually, because if you cast it while you're doing Barrage, everyone's going to get hit by it, right? That's, that's pretty crazy. I, I don't think you really saw people building it but I can see why that needed to be changed. Solar Crest, all attributes bonuses increase from plus five to plus six. Movement speed bonuses increase from plus 20 to plus 25. Okay. And Wraith Band attack speed bonus decrease. So maybe we won't see so many people stacking Wraith Bands over and over again. All right, cool. Let's move on to the hero updates. Hero updates. Abaddon, base attack time improved from 1.7 to 1.5. This could be maybe we're going to see some more Abaddon carries possibly. Um, maybe he's going to get picked more in like the offlane or something, we'll have to see. Alchemist Unstable Concoction, max stun duration increased from uh, a total of 4 to, oh, it's still at 4, but the, the early levels are better. Okay, so he could be a better laner now. And Chemical Rage Bonus Damage per sec uh, per Perceptor, Bonus Damage per Perceptor increased from 20 to 25. Okay. Uh, Ancient Apparition, Talents, level 10 Talent chilling touch attack range increase with 200 to 300. Damn, that's gonna be that's gonna be interesting. At level 15, talent cold feet break distance increased from 200 to 300. Ah, oh, these are these are good buffs, Ray. Really good buffs. Cool. Anti mage, uh, mana void now applies a mini stun to all affected units. <laughs> Frick's sake, dude. Do we have to buff AM? Really? That's really freaking good, though. Like really, really good. If you've got multiple channelers or just it, just having the mini stun, even though it's like small, right? But it's still good. Okay. Arc Warden, uh, Aghanim Scepter, Secondary Spark Wraith, Search Radius decrease from 375 to 225. Holy crap. Uh, that's, that's a big nerf, isn't it? That's a huge nerf, is it not? I get it because you could have like Wraith after Wraith after Wraith after Wraith going off. But, I don't know. That's that's a huge area change. Axe, space movement speed increased from 310 to 315, and the radius increased. Okay, so they've increased the counter helix radius. That's pretty good as well. You should be able to farm up a little bit quicker now, if you were going to miss the range creep or something, and I guess pulling people from jungle. And listen, team fights overall, you're going to do more AoE damage in team fights. You're going to be able to reach the person that maybe you couldn't reach before. Bane, base attributes increased by 1, and Aghanim's shard healing from secondary targets increased from 25% to 30%. Okay, brain sap buff. Beautiful. Batrider, sticking napalm, mana cost increased from 20 to 25. Um, that's going to be a big deal after a lot of time, like constantly spamming that in lane. Definitely a big deal. You is, Isn't Batrider... I guess they've buffed his lasso, lasso Aghanim's Scepter, uh, secondary target range increased. Batrider was very rarely picked, wasn't he? Or his win rate at the moment was already incredibly low. To see him have a nerf is rather interesting. Was it suddenly really popular again? Possibly. But I can, this, this, this buff, this debuff, not the buff, this nerf, sorry, uh, it could actually hurt quite a bit. Beastmaster's Drums of Slum damage per hit increased from 110 to 115, and his talent movement speed over to Beastmaster and his units decreased from 25 to 20. Okay, so that's a bit of a nerf. Bounty Hunter, Shadow Walk, movement or attack speed slow rescaled from 16, 24, 32, 40 to 15, 25. Okay, so it's weaker. No, it's not. It's a buff. It says rescaled, but it's actually a buff. You lose, you lose one at the beginning, and then it's up every single time after that so it's still a buff nice uh although i guess people probably don't take shadow walk upgrades for a while so you're gonna lose a little bit uh brewmaster primal split fire uh brewing armor increased from 048 to 0816 double the armor that's insane dude that's crazy crazy Broodmother, spin the web, max move speed bonus decreased from 18, 28, 38, 48 to 10, 22, 34, 46. Okay, so that's a bit of a, uh, a nerf for Broodmother. Spinner's snare, change restore time increase from 20 to 30. Spawn spiderlings, spiderlings lifetime decrease from 40, 45, 50 to 40 seconds. Okay, and spider, li spider, spider rights lifetime decreased from 60 seconds to 40 seconds. So that's a bit of a, that's a pretty... Big nerf to Broodmother. 
which is quite nice to see. Brood was a pain in the ass all the time. Good. Frick you. Centaur. Hitch a ride now grants Centaur Stampede buff. Also increases Stampede duration if casting if cast during Stampede rather than refreshing the buff. Cool and decrease from 45 to 30 seconds. That's a really good buff for that. Kind of makes the um, Hitch a ride a little bit more worthwhile. I don't know if it really gets used at all or if it will still. But that's kind of good. Chaos Knight. Chaos Bolt mana cost decrease from 110, 120, 130, 140 to just 110 always. That's going to feel really good for Chaos Knight. Really, really good. Every time you cast like two abilities on Chaos Knight, especially early game, uh, you just, you just, it just sucks. It just, it just sucks. Rip, rip mana. Gone. Clinks. Skeleton Walk now always creates one burning army skeleton after breaking the invisibility. Aghanim's shard bonus skeletons decrease from two to one. Total count with shard is unchanged. Okay, so you still only have the two, but now you're always going to have one. So it's a... I'd say it's a buff. It kind of makes the shard not as worth, I guess. Darkseer, normal punch. The max sun duration decreased from 2.25 to 2 seconds. Okay. The dazzled level 10 talent damage increased from 50 to 60. We actually did see quite a lot of... Um, well, I have a lot of physical damage to... Um, to, to dazzle those, so maybe that's gonna be pretty interesting. Death Prophet, intelligence gain decreased from 3.3 to 3, and the strength gain decreased from the nerfed my Death Prophet. I've just learned this hero and it's so freaking OP, dude. Ah, oh, they've nerfed more. Ah, <laughs> oh, they've actually nerfed way more. Okay, so the talents level 10 magic resistance has decreased. I always bought, I always, no, I always got the magic resistance. Didn't matter what, if physical damage, for some reason, Dota Plus thought that was the most valuable one. This always seemed better. In, like, I didn't, 30 damage or 14, I don't know. Level 15 plus 30 spirit siphon uh, damage or heal replaced with 300 health. Uh, that's huge, isn't it? The level 20. Uh, Alright, okay, so that's moved. That's moved to level 20 now. Alright, okay. Okay, okay. Dragon Knight, Elder Dragon Form. I can't believe they've nerfed my Death Prophet, dude. Dragon Knight, Elder Dragon Form cooldown decreased. Aghanim Steps Long reduces cooldown by five seconds. Oh, it's only five seconds. Okay, 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 okay. Fireball, mana cost decreased. Ah, oh, frick, man. I hate this. this screw Dragon Knights as well. Laning against them is a pain in the ass. If they pick it last pick and it's like to counter you, you just have the worst time ever. Dry Ranger, Frost Arrows, Aghanim Shadow Regen reduction per stack decreased. And the marksman now only grants allies allied range heroes half of the bonus agility. That is a huge nerf to Drow Ranger. That is a massive nerf to Drow. And she was also so useful as well. Again, she still is. It's only two percent bright, but uh, the 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 re re regen reduce reduction was really good against the Bloodstone people. So there's two percent. It's still still decent. But yeah. Elder Titan, Echo Stomp, Wake Up Damage Thresholds increase from 50, 100, 150 to 200, uh, to 55, 120, 185, 250. Okay, so the Wake Up Damage Thresholds in, in, increase, meaning this is a buff. Uh, so you, you have to do more damage now before you, the enemy actually wake up, which is definitely cool. Astral Spirit, Damage Per Hero increase, so that's a buff to early game Elder Titan, as the end is still the same. There's a very, very, very slight buff uh, increase there. I would say it's per hero. So you're gonna get one extra, it seems. Three at the beginning, and then two, and then one, and then the same. Okay, cool. Ember Spirit, talents, level 10 talents. Um, damage decrease from 15 to 12, slight nerf to his damage. And 20 is slight first hero damage decrease. No, that's that's pretty decent, the uh, 10 damage there. Uh, you probably will notice a little bit of that. Enchantress, enchant cooldown rescaled from 28, 24, 20, 16, to 30, 24, 18, 12. Okay, so better later worse earlier so she was just too strong early game i guess hero move slow rescaled from 55 percent to 30 40 50 60 so it's an overall buff but again she's too strong early game they seem to think uh so they're buffing the late game nerfing the early game duration rescaled from uh 3.5 just to 5 overall again this is a buff to late game but a nerf to early, early game right yeah no, this is an overall buff. Ah, this buffs the early game, but it nerfs the late game slightly from the third level. Okay, it's probably not really worth getting it after the, those two levels for a while now. 
Okay, okay. One level of this might be enough now. Uh, little friends, cast range increase from 600 to 750. Cool. Grimstroke. Ink swell damage per second increase from 25, 35, 45, 55 to 25, 40, 55, 70. 75, 120, 165 to 210 total damage. Okay, so increase in, in damage basically. So it's a buff. And Soulbind cooldown decrease from 90, 70, 50 to 70, 60, 50. Early game being buffed for Grimstroke as well. That's big. That is really, really big. Getting 20 seconds off of your of your ult that early on is is really, really big. And obviously another 10 seconds there as well. Damn. Maybe seeing a lot more Grim soon. Hoodwink, please be a, a please be a nerf. Bonus damage increase. <laughs> Frick. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Screw you, Hoodwink. Huskar, in a fire. Disarm duration increased to it's the same at high. It's he's stronger earlier, basically. Um talents, level 20, talent life break, cooldown reduction increase from four seconds to five seconds. Um okay. I mean, one second. That's a buff. Because it's cooldown reduction. Yeah, that's a buff. Cool. Can't wait to see more Huskars. That's exactly what I want. Jakiro, Ice Path. Duration increased from... Um, the max is the same. But... Mm, max stun duration is unchanged. Oh, I see what you mean. Because if you walk back into it... Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So it's the same, but you have more chance to get people into it. Um, okay, cool. Mechapire now applies its damage immediately upon casting rather than 0.5 seconds afterwards, right? Um, I guess that's kind of good because aiming this is a pain in the ass and 0.5 seconds is a big deal. Especially if, like, blinks and stuff, right? Like, yeah, uh, that's kind of annoying. Juggernaut, Blade Fury, Aghanim Shard, attack rate increase from 1.2 to 1.4 at critical damage increase from 180 to 190. We will definitely be seeing... Uh, Base damage increase from 50 to, uh, 54 to 53 to 55. We'll definitely be seeing more jugs now. Yeah, we'll definitely see jugs again more. So uh, it's not too common at the moment, but I reckon we're going to be seeing quite a lot more. Level 10 talent, Blade Fury radius increase as well from 75 to 100. Give it the light, Will O Wisp attacks to kill increase from 6 to 7. Yeah, whatever. No one actually killed it anyway, right? Everyone just walked away from it if they could. Go ship, damage delayed, uh, damage delayed increase from 40% to 45. Kunker's very rarely picked at the moment, and he does feel rather weak, actually, so the the, the little buff to him, 5% still pretty good, uh, so maybe we'll, we'll see more. Lesh, Lesh Pulse Nova damage decreased. Okay, so, again, nerfing the, the Bloodstone people here, you'll you'll definitely notice that difference in, in damage. Holy crap, yes you will. That's, that's going to be pretty big overall. If you've got 5 heroes around you, that's you've just lost 50 damage at the max level every time that goes off, so... You'll definitely feel that. Lich intelligence gain increased from 3.6 to 3.8. Great. Let's buff this pain in the ass. I think I just hate every hero. What do you guys reckon? Frost Blast. Cast time improved from 4, 0.4 seconds to 0.3 seconds. Cast range rescaled from 600 to... Okay. So this is... Mm, this is a buff. This is an overall buff to Lich, except for level 1 uh, Frost Blast cast range. And then everything else is the same after that and a buff. Okay, has Lena been nerfed? Let's see. Oh, no. Where? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, she has. She has. Dragon Slave has been increased. People wouldn't touch this after level one. They would just keep it level one uh, so that they could purely get their stacks. This is now probably going to make you get this instead of stats so that you can actually keep the, your stacks up a lot more. Light, stack, light Strike Ray mana cost increase from 100 to 105, 110, 115 to 1. It's just 115 all the time now, so the extra 15 mana each time. Not huge, but... Uh, definitely something that you'll you'll notice a little bit uh, in the early game. Fiery Soul attack speed bonus stack attack speed bonus per stack decreased from this is a massive nerf. This is a huge nerf on Lena, and I think it needed it as well. This 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 was insane. This was nearly like a Wind Ranger ult. She had 100 less attack speed. I know it's 100, but she had 100 less attack speed from Fiery Soul than a Wind Ranger got from ulting somebody. Like, what the frick? That's in insane. <laughs> like, absolutely insane. So, the move speed bonus for stack has decreased as well uh, by a decent amount too. So, you're definitely going to see that Lena's nowhere near as strong as she was unless level 15 talent health decreased. Okay. Level 20 uh, talent fiery soul speed per attack decreased as well. Yeah. So, she's been nerfed quite a lot. Quite a lot, actually. Um, 
I feel like this is maybe just brings Lena down a lot. Like, she's still going to be good, but this is big. This is very big. Lion. Base armor increased by one. Base agility decreased from 18 to 15. And his finger of death cooldown decreased. Okay, so early game, he saves 20 seconds and then 10 seconds and then it's the same. Luna, Lucent Beam, Ag's Shard, a duration increase from 12 to 15. Ag's Shard, damage increase from 15 to 17. Bit of a buff for Luna there. Nice. Medusa, Mystic Stake, base damage increase from 80, 20, uh, 120, 160 to 200 to 85, 130. 175 to 20. We're going to be seeing a bit more Medusa now, I would say. You're going to be able to farm very, very quickly with these, these buffs here. Level 15 talent, Mystic Stake cooldown reduction increased from 2 to 3. Yeah, we're going to be seeing more Medusas uh, with this as, as the position ones, it seems. I do, re I do, I enjoy a patch where Medusas are carry, but I also kind of hate it like i i quite enjoy having long games in dota 2 so this is fine especially like if the enemy have it it's pain in the ass right you gotta pick mana burners like yeah whatever but it's still good i, I like it mirana leap agonim's shard damage increase from 150 to 170 agonim's shard wave distance increased from 600 to 800 okay cool monkey king Base agility increased by 1 max channel time decreased from 1.6 to 1.5 um, okay, I don't think this is a, a massive deal, really, like, not, not really, I guess it's like a tiny little bit faster, but it's not a huge deal, please, please nerf Naga into the ground, like, just, just, just remove the hero, let's have a look, Naga Siren and Snare, cast range decreased, yes, frick you, that is, that's big, that's actually really big, it can, oh, it's, the range of it is the same as what it was at level 1 now, Massive. Aghanim Scepter cast range increase from 1.5 to 1.6. Uh, that I don't, I'm not going to do the math on it, but that might bring it back to where it was with the Ags, but whatever. Song of the Siren cooldown increase from uh, 160 to 180. Uh, ends on the same. 10 seconds more each one, so it's a nerf for Song of the Siren. And reel in. Does anyone ever use this? Pull speed increase from 150 to 200, maybe now? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, I don't use this. Um, Nature's Profit. Agility decrease from 22 plus 3.6 to 20 plus 3.4. Intelligence gain decrease from 3.7 to 2.3. This is going to make a big difference on Nature's Profit. Um, especially now that there's ult has also been nerfed. Uh, base damage decreased from 115 to 105. 145. It ends the same. But it's going to slow down his farm early game. And it's also going to um, make him less impactful in fights definitely and his early game i mean you're gonna notice these stat changes you absolutely are the the intelligence gain on nature's profit going down i know it doesn't seem like much because it's only like decimal but you will you will notice this definitely uh and the agility as well his armor and attack speed is going to change too so level 20 talents brat leash is no longer pierces spell immunity i think that's pretty fair i i it's sad i play nature's profit as well so I, whatever but like i think that's fair yeah, I think that's fair. I'd buff to BKB again, though, you know? Necroforest, Death Pulse. Mana cost decreased from 100, 130, 160, 192. Decreased to 160 in total. 100, 120, you save uh, an extra 10 each level. So it's, it's save 10, then 20, then uh, 30. So that's cool. Necroforest may be coming back. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Still, still not, it's still not like dead but nowhere near as popular as it used to be oh magic ignite slowly increased from 20 22 24 26 no <laughs> freaking hate ogre with ignite it does way too much i guess it's just the slow and it's not the damage but the freaking the amount of damage that ignite does is crazy adding the slow to it like increasing that it's only very slight but yeah it'll make a difference Fire shield, fire damage, fireball damage increase from 125 to 160. Okay, buff for Ogre. Love to have the ignite in game. It's so fun. Omni Knight, Degenora regen increase from 400 to 4. Radius, sorry, increase from 400 to 450. Oracle, uh, Fortune's End projectile speed. Please nerf OD. Put Fortune's End projectile speed increase from 1000 to 1200. And the radius increase from 300 to 350. That's a good buff. That's definitely a good buff. Outlaw Destroyer the, now deals double damage to illusions. Sanity's Eclipse. This is this is this is this is good actually. 
So I don't like OD. I hate OD, but it's an answer to Illusion Heroes, and it doesn't really do anything else to anybody else, right? Like it's the same, but it clears illusions. This is good. I like it because when someone picks like a, a Naga and you're really struggling and you just know that it's going to go late because your team have picked like silly, silly heroes against it. You last pick OD for mid and you, you can deal with it. I like it. Cool. Pangol Pangolia. No, I said that was so weird. Shield crash damage decreased. Mm, he's weaker early game. Roll up no longer applies a basic dispel upon cast. Okay. That's that, that's a fairly good nerf to Pangolia. Absolutely is. Phantom Assassin. Dagger is increased. Okay, I like this. From 65 to 65, 70, 75, 80. Beautiful. I, I like I like this. Blur radius decrease from 600 to 400. Okay. So, um, overall, I would say it's above the PA, right? But, I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe the, the PA... Dagger build is going to be back, guys. <laughs> Probably not. I, I can dream. I, I like playing PA mid with daggers. It's bad. It's really, really, really bad. But it's so fun. It's so fun. Puck, waning rift. Damage decrease from 70, 130, 190, 250, 260, 120, 180, 240. Okay. A nerf to Puck. I barely see Puck. So, I mean, Puck's really good. I know it's really good, but I, I, maybe it's in my bracket. Puck's not played much. Pudge rot, I can accept a bonus damage per second decreased from 195. Slight damage nerf to Pudge. I don't think it'll stop Pudge being good. I think mean, Pudge is still really, really good. But um five damage per per second is is it will add up, definitely. Pug the life drain, Agnum Shard ref, uh, refracted damage percentage increased from 70 to 75%. Okay, you're gonna pay base attack damage increased by two. Makes last hitting fairly easier in lane. Does make a fairly big difference on those first few levels as well. The Queen of Pain is quite easy to last it with, in my opinion, as well. So that's definitely good. Razors. Let's please nerf, 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 nerf. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Storm Surge. Agnum, Sh Agnum Shard Fort Lightning now has a one second internal cooldown. This is big. Very, very big. Bloodstone may be gone. Probably still pretty good. But the one second cooldown will be a big deal for when you pilot, like trying to burst them down. You can't just like return everything immediately, like one after another. So this is definitely good. Ricky Sleeping Dart nerfed to the crap, please. Sleeping Dart cast range decreased. That's big. That is huge decrease from the cast range and the cooldowns increase as well. Good. Frick that guy. Stupid support. Rubik. Telekinesis. Agnum Shard no longer provides reduced cooldown when used on self or allies. Okay. And level 10 talent telekinesis landing damage decreased from 175 to 150. A bit of a nerf um, from, from Rubik there. Sand King. Epicenter. Attack speed slow increased from 30 to 30, 45, 60. Movement speed slow increased from 30% to 30, 40, 50. And uh, his burst strike stun duration increased. Okay, so we're going to be maybe seeing some more sanking around. This is a, this is a big, this is big. Um, to the, 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 the attack speed slow for Epicenter. This is really good. Movement speed slow increase as well. So he goes from 30% all the way to 50% now. This is big buffs for sanking. And Caustic Finale damage increases as well. We're going to see some more of these insta-clears in fights, maybe. Shadow Shaman, Serpent Ward, Gold Bounty decreased. Ah, don't buff. I mean, no, this is fine, actually. The wards are really, really, really strong, but I think this is fine. Um, either Shock Damage, Max Distance increase from 500 to 600, and the level uh, that the wards get higher attack range. This guy can walk up to a Rax that's, that's like, pretty much got backdoor protection and just double ult it, and it's gone. So... I don't know. This is interesting. Silencer. Arcane Curse cooldown increased. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Laning against this is the biggest pile of bullcrap ever. The cooldown increased from 20. It's only slight. It's only two seconds. But yes. Good. Level 10 talent arcane curse damage decreased from 12 to 10. It get nerfed. Level 15 talent global silence to cooldown reduction decreased from 25 to 20. Good. Good, get nerfed. Frick you. Slada, Cross of Haze, cast range increased. 
Okay, nice use more slide out. That's good. It's just 900 across all levels now. Slark, pounce cooldown increase from 2016, 12, 8 to 22, 18, 14, 10. Agadim set to distance decreased. Okay, so fairly decent nerf to this pounce from the Ag Scepter now as well. I think you still get Ags, right? But um, that's a fairly de you'll it's fairly de like decent. And two two seconds extra on this on each level is actually big, and uh, the distance as well is fair. Like a hundred units is, is quite a bit. It's pretty good. Snap fire, fresh snap cookie. Fire snap, not fresh, what the hell? Fire snap cookie, it's late, it's nearly 1 am. Aghanim shard damage from Mortimer Kisses impact decreases by 50%. Okay. Uh, Storm spirit, base attack time improved. Mm, don't think that's going to be enough to bring Storm back. Storm's very, very uncommon right now. He's still strong in the right hands, but it's pretty uncommon, I would say. Uh, Temple Assassin base strength increased by 2. Tiny tree volley throw interval increase from 0.4 to 0.5. And match channel time increase from 2.4 to um, 2.5. So the trees throw slower and it takes longer to do it. So it's nerfed the tree volley. Uh, you probably won't notice a huge difference on this, but it could make a, diff it could make a difference between a kill and not. Tree and Protector, Living Armor bonus damage decreased. Cool, good. And Nature's Guys no longer provides heal or regen amplification. Nerf that pain in there. Anyone who's like a rat, like Trien and freaking Monkey King and sitting in the tree, oh, it's just annoying, man. Good. <laughs> Screw that guy. Tusk, Ice Shards, cast range decreased from 1800 to 1400. Walrus Punch, critical damage. Um, that's big, by the way. Critical damage decreased from 300, 350, 400 to 253, 25, 325 to 400. It's the same overall, um, but it's weaker earlier on. And the cast range for Ice Shards being smaller is quite a big deal as well. I mean, I don't know how often people did max Ice Shard cast range, but still, 400 range is quite big. Undying Decay, Steel Duration Decrease, so that's a, de uh, a bit of a nerf to Decay. Mana Cost Increase from Soul Rip. And his damage decreased, so that's fairly decent nerfs to Undying overall. Mana cost for Soul Rip is 120, which is the max now. Um, the max that it was is just the same on the levels now as well. Warlock, we're nearly there, by the way. We're nearly there. Um, let's have a look. So, Warlock Chaotic Offering, Golem damage increase from 100, 150 to 200 to 110. Okay, so a buff to the um, damage increase. Aghanim Step to Golem damage increase as well. And I'm going to to a golem delay increased. A uh, second golem delay increased. Is that a buff? Because does that give you a second stun a little bit later so that stacks better? I actually don't exactly know how that works with Warlock, but um, that could be really, really good. Like, really good. Talents level 10, talent fatal bonds damage increase from 3 to 4%. Okay. Uh, oh. Wind Ranger, power shot travel range increased from 2,600 to 3,000. Damn, that's huge. And focus fire damage reduction decreased from 30 to 25%. Also big, big buffs for Wind Ranger. We are, we'll be seeing a lot more Wind Rangers. The extra 400 range on this is insanely good for high ground, for farming, for sniping people because it's fun. Uh, to, like being, being. Even if you're not like close to a team fight, 3,000 range to be able to get that big nuke off is really, really helpful, especially if someone's stunned. Uh, and the extra damage, the 5% extra damage as well for nothing is insanely good. Um, this is going to be big, which means you only have a 10% damage reduction when you get your talent to reduce. Your th that's, yeah. Ha! Huh. I, I, I play a lot of Wind Ranger, so Wind Ranger spammers rejoice. Okay. <laughs> Wind range, uh, no, <laughs> I'm still stuck on that. Winter Wyvern. Winter's Curse now applies a dispel to the target. Okay. Uh, Witch Doctor, Voodoo Restoration, Healer Damage increased. Heal and damage is increased. Okay. Uh, Maledict Burst Damage increased. Buff to Witch Doctor. Witch Doctor was already so strong as well. That's crazy. Okay, so there's some bug fixes here. I'm not going to go through these if you guys want to see them. Um, you can just either pause the video and, and have a look, or you'll find this when you come in here anyway in the patch notes. That's it. That's all the stuff done. Did your hero get nerfed? Let me know in the comments. Are you happy with the changes? Um, are you excited to actually play a new patch? I think there's still lots more to come in um, April as well. So this is, this is pretty good for now. But what do you guys? What do you guys? What do you guys think? Happy? Unhappy? 
let me know. And this is the first time I've done this, so if you want to see this again in the future, please do let me know. I don't know if it's going to be uh, have any interest or anything at all. And I know that my opinion isn't going to be as valued as like the pros and stuff and the people who like analyze the game a lot. But if you enjoyed listening to me read through it for you instead, or if you just enjoyed my opinion on it as well, let me know so I know I have to do it or not in the future. And I will catch you all in the next one. See you later, guys. Thanks for listening. Bye.